And the Spirit of God is here today to meet you. Some of you are struggling with another image. It could be the image of your ancestral defects. It could be the image of your personal insecurities. It could be just simply you're struggling with the thoughts of your mind that are not of you, not of God, but of an enemy who does not want you to embrace your sonship and your daughtership by faith. As you sit here today, each of you, the Spirit of God is here. And he's able to speak to you individually if you will open your heart. Don't run from God. It doesn't work. Run towards him. Bring your stuff. Been playing in the mud? Bring your muddy pants and your muddy shoes. Been dabbling in stuff? Bring your dirty fingers. Your father is greater. I have a scripture coming. The Bible says when our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart, and he knows all things. Let me quote this scripture to you again. When your heart condemns you, God is greater than your heart. Talk about acceptance. Talk about settling this biblically and scripturally. When your heart condemns you, God is greater than your condemnation. He's greater than your ya yeah, buts. He's greater than you. Why would you argue with God who has accepted you? That's kind of a bad arm wrestling match. You're going to lose. And I pray that God overcomes some of you to the point that you can hardly stand it. I pray that the Father releases the Holy Spirit to challenge some of you in this room to greatness, to excellence, to coming out of your little mud holes and your play fields. Be who he calls you to be. Do you know who you are? If you knew who you are, you know what you should be doing. You'd have a plan, you'd have a goal, and God would begin to lead you. But you, God will never lead you in self-condemnation. God will never leave you as you're stewing in your self-pity. God will never lead you when you're your butts, when you argue with his faith for you. God is here speaking to you as sons and daughters today by his spirit. If you have ears to hear, you'll understand it. If you don't have ears to hear, you'll stay right where you're at in the big battle between the ears. God has more for you than a constant debate between your ears. Let God be true according to Scripture and every man a liar. You have to decide what voice you're listening to.